Yeah. No, no, it's in the driveway. Hey folks, welcome back. D did you know that you can place trees between the asset and the road? The reason I want to talk about that today is because, well, way back when, when I first started, I, I, I started using Anarchy. And it's prop and tree anarchy. It allows you to put trees anywhere. And the reason I got that is because, well, I wanted a little bit of variance to different assets and stuff like that, right? I wanted to be able to put trees wherever I wanted to put trees. I had that mod for like a week, right? Unfortunately, what had happened is a, a DLC came out and it toasted my saves for like three months. That's way, way, way long time ago but it taught me something right it taught me that the asset itself is just an asset right the, the the size of the yard is what you do to it and the best way to make to mature up a, a neighborhood is to put trees in between the tree and in, in between the asset and the street try your best not to overdo it but with vanilla, I mean, you can you can put a tree. You got to be very very gentle about it, right? If it's if it's red, it's going to go underneath the asset or the road. But you got to get it right in between. You got to squeak it in there. But sometimes, I mean, that space is quite big. And just by adding a tree or two, really makes a different makes a difference for the street, for the neighborhood. For the individual asset involved it gives it its individuality right so it all of a sudden it doesn't start looking like every other one after i learned this with the tree thing between the road and the asset i gave up anarchy because then i realized that you could grab any prop right and put it and build a backyard as a matter of fact, I've got a neighborhood where they use a path. There's no anarchy being used either, or there either. But we're just talking about just vanilla stuff, just the trees. You know what? I, I want a big honking tree. Yeah. That would make this look like it's been here for a while. Oh, no, yeah, that's the tree I want. Yeah, there we go. A 50-year-old tree or a 100-year-old tree. There we go. That makes it look like this house was here for quite some time. Nicely kept. Ooh, right beside the redwood. One of the very few that are left in this town or in this neighborhood. See how wooded the streets are? The only thing for me to be careful is not putting down too many trees, right? Because you can really crowd out an area with trees. But if you're selective and don't put them too close and don't let OCD take over and put them exactly three meters apart, you gotta, you gotta change it up. See, using it as a tree line there, property line. Hopefully I didn't put that tree in there. Oh good, that came with the asset. See, who put the tree there? <laughs> but yeah, you could just, it's as easy as this, grabbing a tree. Where are we gonna put this, in front of the bird bath? No, maybe on the other side, between there and the driveway. Like there? Right, see, something just like that makes that asset look so different. Use it here to separate the, the zone lots. Oh, hold on. I already did that. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back it up. There we go. Just a couple of trees along the street. 
See that little tree? Or sorry, that little house? Isn't that cute? Put the trees around it. It's been here since. It's probably one of the, the very first houses that, that got built here. It was a little cottage a long time ago. Here. <laughs> oh yeah, the cow plantation. Here I think I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump to get this finished. Too far. Yeah, I think I took that too far. Hmm. Trying to show an outline of a yard. Interesting having the farms back there, eh? Fire department. Just a couple trees really add some scenery, doesn't it? And when you place them between the asset and the road, it just adds flavor, especially to a little house like that. Here, let's do a flyby. There's that little house. Trying my best not to go overboard. Well, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> That's a sound experiment. Or a lot of main streets coming into a town, they're lined with trees for sound and, and light, right? To block the headlights. I did just start this. <laughs> so I still got I still got some trees to put down. But what was a disconnected farmland? is now connected and a little neighborhood has grown one I tried to make look like it's always been here as long as the farm has putting the trees in front of the houses helps out yeah I should take a picture just a second yeah I think that would look nicer. Oh, even with an upgrade. Does look pretty. Chat for now.